Hi, so I was asked how I organize or how do I create all the folders that I have in my iDrive. So that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do today is show you how I create them, how I label them and what I use them for. If you haven't been to my channel before, so please subscribe. I have dedicated my channel to empowering small business owners to take over their finances. So here we are. We're in the iDrive, the Google Drive. I keep on going back to iDrive. That's how I know it. For those who uh, don't know it by iDrive, this is the Google Drive. We're in a Google account that I created so that I can use as an example to show you how I use folders within the Google Drive. Uh, right here under storage, if you see the Gmail account email gives you up to 15 gigabytes. Now this is a gmail.com email. It's not a domain email. When you use a domain, it's a little um, different when it comes to storage. I think in the domain email, they actually give you a little bit more storage. That's when you'll start thinking about what is it that you're going to be doing with files from past years? Are you going to be transferring over to a portable storage system? Or what is it's something that you, we definitely need to put some thought into. But again, you do have the option of purchasing more storage or transferring any past year documents that are no longer needed at quick glance to an electronic storage system. But 15 gigabytes is a, a lot of gigabytes to use. I know for a business, it might not sound that way because of all the documents that we have to produce and uh, generate. If you have access to your Google Drive through your phone, then you'll have access to all these folders. So if you're on a quick run, and for example, you need to look at something for finances, a quick receipt or whatever the situation is, you will be, be able to have access to all of this quickly and at your fingertips. So it's, that's definitely a cool thing about having everything in the online uh, accessible. In previous videos, I have shown you that I have a system that I use to file my documents in the Google Drive. And my Google Drive specifically is linked to my computer. So if you're interested in seeing how to link it into your computer, let me know below. But I'll, I'll go ahead and show you today how I create the folders and what I use each folder for. So before I get started, this is not an idea that I came up with. I have used uh, Google Drive with folders and putting uh, documents in it, but it was something that was introduced to me by Elisa Lang. I have praised her many times before because she has been a huge difference in my business. So this is who I got this idea from. And so if you want to check her out, I'll go ahead and link it down below. So let's get started here. Uh, so the first thing we would do is just right click, click on new folder. And the organization that I'm using, again, link back to Elisa Lang because she's the one who introduced me to all of this. I go ahead and create a folder for my business. So I, I use abbreviations. It's up to you on what you would like to use. And I put a number one beside it so that when the folders are created, they're kept in order. So the first folder that I created is a folder for my company. So anything related to the company will go in this folder. And then if you see right here on the screen, this is the folder we just created. Uh, the next folder would be finances. So put a two next to it. And again, the order that you want it to be organized in is up to you. Uh, finances would be the next one. And again, create. And you'll keep going from there. I have folders for client work, sales marketing, systems and operations, HR. And an additional one that I added was education. So any courses that I may, might be taking would go under uh, education. So let me just add that one for example purposes. So education would be the next one. This is how you would like to organize it, what folders you want to use. And within each folder, you choose what you want the folders to be. Think about this as your filing drawer. So each category here would be a folder and within each folder, it, so when you double click the folder, here's the documents that are in that folder. And for example, we're under finances. So under finances, you can put, uh, you've seen me in the, in the past videos, I have one for 2021 receipts. So you can do that. 
or maybe, and I do keep the receipts by year. So I would have a folder for each year. Um, in finances, you also can keep, uh, do another folder. For example, say you want to keep your mileage receipts separate. So you can put any receipts related to mileage in this folder. There's many ways of you being able to use this system. It's all dependent on what works best for your business and how it benefits you. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Let's, do you use an electronic system? Let me know below and I hope to see you at my next video.